In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the vector product, also known as the cross product. And we're going to do that by looking at an example. So given we have two vectors, here's our first vector. A is 1, 2, 3, and B is 4, 5, 6. Now to calculate the cross product, A cross B, this is done by working out the determinant of the 3x3 three three matrix where the top row are my uh, directional vectors i, j, k. The second row is the transpose of A and the third row is the transpose of B. So just like that. And we're just going to calculate this 3x3 three three determinant in the normal way. So we get i times the subdeterminant 2, 3, 5, 6 minus j times the subdeterminant 1, 3, 4, 6 plus k times the subdeterminant 1, 2, 4, 5. This is a normal 3 by 3 matrix determinant except for the first row is these i, j, k directional vectors. Okay, so let's work out these subdeterminants. Uh, that's 2 times 6 minus 3 times 5. Next one is 1 times 6 minus 3 times 4. And the next one is 1 times 5 minus 2 times 4. And if I work out these brackets, I get the first one is minus 3i. The second one is plus 6j minus and minus is a plus. And the third one is minus 3 Okay, and that's it. What I've worked out is that A cross B is putting putting my i, j, k answer in, in the, as, a, as a column vector. It's minus 3, 6, minus 3. That's what A cross B is. Um, it's worth noting at this point that if I were to work out B cross A, I would get a different answer. In fact, B cross A would give me 3, minus 6, 3, which is actually the negation of A cross B. So the order does matter. If you do B cross A, you actually get negative A cross B. Okay. Um, so there's lots of things we can use the vector product for, but the first thing that's worth noting is that this vector A cross B that we worked out is actually perpendicular uh, sometimes we use the word orthogonal, perpendicular to both A and B. So this is useful um, if we had to work out a vector perpendicular to both A and B, we could use this cross product to find that vector. Um, actually, there's a uh, useful little formula to, to know. Uh, so let's just write this down. If I do A cross B, then A cross B is actually equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times sine theta times N. Now let's just, magnitude of A would just be by 3D Pythagoras. Same for B, sine theta, well theta is the angle between A and B. And this N is a, a unit vector, so a vector with magnitude 1 that is perpendicular to A and B. So um, rearrange this equation we actually get A cross B over magnitude of A, magnitude of B equals sine theta times N, where N is this unit vector. Um, if we take the magnitude of both sides of this, the left-hand side gives me the magnitude of A cross B. The right-hand side, because N has magnitude 1, um, the right-hand side just becomes sine theta. 
So we get this useful formula that the magnitude of A times cross B divided by the magnitude of A, magnitude of B, is actually equal to sine theta, where theta is the angle between A and B. So let's work out what these things are. Well, A cross B, magnitude of A cross B, um, well, remember A cross B we worked out to be uh, minus 3, 6, minus 3. So the magnitude of A cross B by Pyth Pythagoras is minus 3 squared uh, plus minus 6 squared, sorry, plus 6 squared plus minus 3 squared, all square rooted. Uh, so this is the square root of 54. Magnitude of A cross B is 54. Magnitude of A, again use Pythagoras, it's the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared is the square root of 14. And the magnitude of B is the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, plus 5 squared plus 6 squared. Um, and that is the square root of 77. So going back to our formula, um, this left-hand side is the same as the square root of 54 over the square root of 14 times the square root of 77. Um, and that is equal to, if you work that out, that's 0 0.2238. And look at the right hand side, that is equal to sine theta. So theta is sine inverse sine of 0.2238 is 12.9 uh, degrees. Is the and and that theta tells us the angle between the vectors A and B.